Okay. I'm going to start from here. I don't know why it's got so many. There's no way I can take off all the translations, so many different translations. Okay, I'm going to start, inshallah. Bismillah wa salatu wa salam ala rasulillah wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa chumayna ma ba'd. So today, inshallah, we're going to be doing the tafsir, a couple of ayats uh, from Surah Al-Hajj. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, أُذِنَ لِلَّذِينَ يُقَاتَلُونَ بِأَنَّهُمْ ظُلِمُوا وَإِنَّ اللَّهَ عَلَى نَصْرِهِمْ لَقَدِيرٌ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, he's, he's given permission to fight back for those who've been oppressed. Um, so Allah gives permission to Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and his companions to fight back when they migrated to, Mecca, uh, to Medina and they formed a government and Quraysh was still after them. So this, talk, this is and um, this is after the Muslims settled in Medina and they were able to defend themselves. So Allah said, Allah has given them permission to defend themselves. Wa inna Allah ala nasim al Allah is he, Allah, he's able to protect them um, without them even fighting. But Allah subhanahu wa taala also says um, in the next verse. الذين أخرجوا من ديارهم بغير حق إلا أن يقولوا ربنا الله. They're the ones who've been expelled from their houses for no reason. The only reason why they were kicked out from their houses was they said لا إله إلا الله إلا أن يقولوا ربنا الله. They said our Lord is Allah. Because of Tawheed, they were kicked out of their houses and their towns. And this was obviously he's talking about the companions and the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم when. Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was migrated with Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. He said, they took their own prophet out. Now they're going to be destroyed. And Allah said, وَلَوْلَا دَفْعُ اللَّهِ النَّاسَ بَعْضَهُمْ بِبَعْضٍ لَهُدِّمَتْ صَوَامِعُ وَبِيعٌ وَصَلَوَاتٌ وَمَسَاجِدُ يُذْكَرُ فِيهَا اسْمُ اللَّهِ كَثِيرًا وَلَيَنْصُرَنَّ اللَّهُ مَنْ يَنْصُرُهُ إِنَّ اللَّهَ لَقَوِيٌ عَزِيزٌ So Allah said, if it wasn't for people, no, um, having aggression with each other and fighting and for there to be self-defense. Um, then if there was no fighting back, no self-defense or, or the enemy not being afraid, then they would have completely destroyed everything. They would destroy the monasteries, the churches, the synagogues, the masajid, where Allah is mentioned a lot in the masajid. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is telling us that um when people you know fight back okay it, it, it kind of sends a message to the people as well who are in charge for example if you look around the world now for example if palestinians were not fighting back they would have completely been wiped away a long time ago but there's resistance um in non-muslim countries like in france if although muslims are there but if they're not protesting if they're not asking for their rights then all, if they were just kept quiet, then they would have completely been wiped away. So this kind of clash and resistance, it protects, it gives people some rights, basically. So they're, um, the massages are protected. And then this ayah also talks about how, say, if even if say non, if non-Muslims are living and they're protected in Muslim lands, and they build, mas- they build, they're not allowed to build any new churches or synagogues. Well, let's say if they were there before. For example, the Muslims, when they conquered Jerusalem, um, Umar ibn Khattab, radiyallahu anhu, he didn't say destroy all the churches or destroy the synagogues. They were allowed to remain in their synagogues and their churches. And then obviously Muslims built the masjids um, and cleaned those places. And um, also, it shows you that... Um, Obviously, non-Muslims are not allowed to start building new masjid, new churches and synagogues, but it just shows you that there's some tolerance. Islam even allows allows churches that existed in Muslim countries, if there's a population of Christians, to let them continue worshiping there. Like, for example, in Egypt, there's a Christian population, so they should be allowed to, you know, have their churches and remain there and under the protection of the Muslims. Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said he's able to make victorious who he wants. Okay? And Allah is the almighty and all powerful. Can you still hear me? Yes. 
Yes, yes Alan. OK, the, uh, the next I says, I'm going to do only do a couple of eyes. The next I says, Alladina in Makanahu fill Ardi, Akamu Salah, or Atu Zaka, Amaru Bil Maru, Banahu Anil Munka, Walillahi Akiba Tul Umur. Allah Subhanahu wa Ta'ala said, Those who've been given, given power in the land, they're established. Then what they should be thinking about is telling people to pray their Salah, to give Zaka, to telling them to do the good, forbidding their evil. And everything goes back to Allah. All affairs, at the end of the day, Allah is the one who's the most powerful, who will always remain. But dynasties, empires, they will be, they're not going to be there forever. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying that when people become, when governments become strong, or even at the beginning, they should focus on making people more, more like, uh, uh, more religious and practicing Islam. Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, وَإِن يُكَذِّبُوكَ فَقَدْ كَذَّبَتْ قَبْلَهُمْ قَوْمُ نُوحٍ وَعَادٍ وَثَمُودٍ Allah try, uh, tells Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam not to feel sad that his people disbelieved him at the beginning anyway because many prophets were also, dis the people disbelieved in them like Nuh, people, his people disbelieved in him and the people of Ad and Thamud, they disbelieved in Hud and Salih, their prophets and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, وَقَوْمُ إِبْرَاهِيمَ وَقَوْمُ لُوتِ And the people of Ibrahim and the people of Lut, they all disbelieved, they disbelieved. وَأَصْحَابُ مَدْيَنَ وَكُذِّبَ مُوسَى Allah said, and the people of Madian, where, where Shu'ayb lived, and the people of Musa. فَأَمْلَيْتُ لِلْكَافِرِينَ ثُمَّ أَخَذْتُهُمْ فَكَيْفَ كَانَ نَكِيرٌ Allah said, I gave them time, and the disbelievers time, and then Allah seized them and punished them. And his punishment was uh, severe. Well, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's approach was, uh, his response was severe. So Allah says he gives the oppressor time, but when he catches him, you can't escape. Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, فَكَأَيِّمْ مِنْ قَرْيَةٍ أَهْلَكْنَاهَا وَهِيَ ظَالِمَةٍ فَهِيَ خَاوِيَةٌ عَلَىٰ عُرُوشِهَا وَبِئْرٍ مُعَطَّلَةٍ وَقَصْرِ مَشِيدٍ And this is a very important point, that many societies were destroyed by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because of their wrongdoings, like the ones that were mentioned, Nuh and the people of Ad and Thamud, and they were destroyed in many different ways. And their, their places where they lived is just to total ruins, okay? It's total ruins. And they've left behind, for example, their well where they used to get water from. The palaces are still there. Just to show you, the infrastructure is still there, but they're, 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 they're gone. As it was like a warning for people. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, and this is the, the ayah we're going to stop at, أَفَلَمْ يَسِيرُوا فِي الْأَرْضِ فَتَكُونَ لَهُمْ قُلُوبٌ يَعْقِلُونَ بِهَا أَوْ آذَانٌ يَسْمَعُونَ بِهَا فَإِنَّهَا لَا تَعْمَلْ أَبْصَارُ وَلَكِنْ تَعْمَلْ قُلُوبُ الَّتِي فِي الصُّرُورِ So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, have they not traveled the land? So their hearts might reason. Okay, so their hearts might understand and their ears might listen and it is not the eyes that go blind but it's actually the, the hearts that go blind which are in the breasts. So here Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying you should learn from other people's um, mistakes. And also Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said don't they have hearts that they understand with? So it shows you that this scientific fact where now they're starting to discover that there is and intelligence, which is more important than... Okay. There's intelligence, which is more important than the intelligence of the of the brain, but there's, they call it like emotional intelligence. And it comes from the heart. So this is where the real intelligence is. This is how you, you know, people become leaders. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also said, don't they have hearts that they can understand with? And ears that they listen beneficial things with. So they listen, but they understand and they implement. And so if a person can't see the truth and he doesn't accept it, or he, he can see this is the truth, but he doesn't accept it, then he's counted as blind. So the real people who are blind are the ones who reject the truth with their hearts. alam. So this is a very important uh, uh, verse, which is telling us when we hear something, something which is uh, true either it could be a parents telling us it could be teachers it could be 
Sheikh, we should try to understand it and implement it. Not only let it go from one ear to another ear. Allahu A'lam. Um, there was something that, uh, yeah. So, inshallah, that's where I'm going to finish. But it's something very important to kind of think about as well that, you know, there is, there's one, inshallah, probably a lesson I'm going to cover with you is talking about like cl the clashes of civilizations and how basically the democracy of America was to control people and all of that. And even UK, um, the colonialism and all of that. But you can see how Islam even tolerates, they, they say that Islam is not tolerant. You can see how the Quran now is saying that we shouldn't we shouldn't destroy the churches or the mosques that are in uh, churches and synagogues which are in non in Muslim countries if there's a non-Muslim population living there before or if they're living there they're not allowed to build new ones but if they were already there you give the, you you let you let them live in peace which is obviously what's happening now people you know blowing up churches in uh, in Egypt and all of that Allah alam. So Islam teaches us even sometimes some form of tolerance, uh, which is already mentioned in the Quran. Any questions? No. Oh, inshallah. Uh,